You love talking. Good morning. The grocery store just opened, so I'm on my way over there right now so I can get the groceries done and out of the way before Nick and Elliot head to church. And then I don't have to do it later in the middle of the day. So I think now would be a good time because it literally just opened like nine minutes ago. So let me get that out the way and then I don't have to worry about it later on. Part of grocery shopping in my opinion is putting the groceries away oh, it just takes so long and I have to do it all by myself it's like I'm packing I don't like doing that either and my newspaper hasn't come yet that has my Sunday coupons in it and I'm contemplating calling but I hate calling the company because then I feel bad for the driver but I don't know why I didn't get it and I didn't get it yesterday either so I'm not sure because one time he didn't call like the very first time he didn't come and then I called the company and he called and then the driver ended up calling me and said okay I'm gonna come and drop it off call the company right now though call the company right now and tell them that I did it so I'm like uh it's like awkward for me it makes me feel uncomfortable I want my coupons though guess who's back in the house half black half white chick I call her Minnie Mouse <laughs> you make that up no that's Jay-Z oh <laughs> Judge me, I don't know a lot of singers. Well, I know who Jay-Z is. I don't know his music. <laughs> Except, I got 99 problems. How does it go? I got 99 problems, but a uh, ain't one hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the censor version? Yeah. <laughs> Onkers. Girl, don't choke, girl, eating them nuts. Choke on a nut, choke on a nut, choke on a nut, choke on a nut. Don't come for me, because I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> no strength. I just can't dance. Just can't dance, can't sing. I can hum and whistle. <laughs> I can. I got that going for me. Well, yep, me and Elliot went to church today and now he is in bed. Mm -hmm. That boy is knocked out. Oliver is in the living room. We're oh. just we just left him in there so we can just come in here and, <laughs> and vlog with you guys. How was Elliot at church today? Elliot was pretty good. Um he was Elliot, of course. Yeah, but, your um, dad wasn't there to entertain him. Nah, my dad wasn't was there. there. Yeah, they're out of town. Well, they were out of town, yes. but they're no longer out of town. So don't try to go to the house, even though you don't know where they live. <laughs> Angela taught me that. She always to told me never to let people know why you're out of town. Nope, because if you tell people you're going out of town, when you're going out of town, they're going to come and try to break into your house. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and people will do that. Also, I learned a lesson like the little tags on your luggage. Only put your name and phone number, maybe your email address, but don't put your address because you never know. Someone might see your address and know that you're out of town. <laughs> <laughs> For real. And, don't, yeah, and didn't you say you saw a story about that? Like people stayed in somebody's house when they knew they weren't there, like the mailman oh, told yeah. people? Oh, yeah. Because you can... um. When you're going out of town, you can, what's it called? Um, the hold address? You can, yeah, you can hold your mail at the post office. And this is actually on the blacklist. But then after I, after I saw that episode on the blacklist, I saw it in real life that someone at the post office was giving addresses away of people who had the hold on their mail because they were going to be out of town. And then people rented out their address to Airbnb. Whoa, Airbnb? What? Uh-huh. They Airbnb somebody it was else's so house? Weird. I tell you, all the shows on TV, they mimic real life. They either wow. like take away like something that's happening in real life or and then you'll see it like in a couple weeks like in real life happen. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a mailman and I would never do that. <laughs> but um, that's crazy to think about. I, I, I won't put a hold on my address. I just have to. Just I don't have, know. Have someone you trust come and collect your mail. Yes. Have somebody I trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. Or you crazy. can have like one of those mailboxes where there's a lock, right? Do yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, a mailbox with us where there's a lot. Once the once the carrier puts it in, no one can take it out. Yeah, my parents are lucky. They have the door slot still, the old school door slot, so they can just slip the mail right through the door easily. Yeah, yeah. we need like that honey eye shrunk or blew up the kid where it goes in and goes underground and does all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, old movie. <laughs> Throwback, man. Oh man, don't tell our age out here. <laughs> hey, buddy, how are you doing? What's up, baby? 
What you got to say to the people? What you got to say to the people, baby? <laughs> Straight face. Hey, babe. What's up, baby? We did something for me. Oh, no. Lord. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Will you go to Walmart? <laughs> Why do you want me to go to Walmart right now? I really want a milkshake. A milkshake? So you need to get three things. Can we get one from like Checkers or something? No, I don't like them. You I don't like the ones in Checkers? No, I don't like the ones that come from the restaurants. I like the homemade. So can I need you to get, just get a small, a small thing of chocolate ice cream to have like a pint. Yeah. And then like maybe one packet of Oreos mm -hmm. and like a pint of chocolate milk. Yeah, do you need like a a, a bottle of, of liquor and some cigarettes to go along with with your request? <laughs> I don't have to share with you. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I can use some chocolate, exactly. a chocolate milkshake right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, Oliver. Do you want me to go? Oliver, do you want to go? Do you want to go for daddy? Huh? How about babe? Do you want me to just stay home with the boys and you go? No, 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 no. I don't want you to go. It's too late. It's too late for you to go. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not safe. All right. <laughs> I didn't want to go anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh man. You're welcome. All right. This is the time of day when Oliver likes to be the most vocal. Okay. Without fail, at this time, like it's right now, it's like eight twenty. Every night, he just starts talking. <coughs> I don't know if you noticed that his tongue has thrush on it. The last time we went to the doctor, I told the doctor that he had thrush, and the doctor was kind of thinking it was just milk. But then it, he ended up giving me a prescription, and so when I called CVS for the prescription, they said that the it was on back order and they're not even going to be able to order it and so i called other places and no one has this i think it's called like nice statin or something and so he still has thrush i'm gonna have to when we go back to the doctor this week i'm gonna ask them if there's like another uh, maybe a, a name brand of it because that's the generic brand so maybe there's a name brand nick ran to walmart for me because i was really craving a milkshake and i prefer them homemade like i don't like the ones that you get at the um, restaurants like not restaurants fast food places like checkers and where else i don't even know i just don't like them i like make them at home with chocolate ice cream and oreos and some chocolate milk and you mix them in a blender it just tastes so delicious so he went to the store such a good husband <laughs> i volunteered to go but he doesn't like me to go out at night because people are human trafficking out there and it is so real and i do not need to be taken because i probably wouldn't survive yeah, please, Jesus, don't ever let me be t taken. And that's going to be a nice little treat for us tonight. And I'm going to take a shower and then just chill and watch a show. Um, we have a few shows we have started that we, like, haven't completed. Although we watched you and we loved it. But we've started Dex Dexter. I think we're on, like, season three or four. But that's, like, a show we watch when there's nothing else to watch so have to see and i hope you enjoyed oliver and i just want to thank you all so much for just following us and showing us love and support and commenting down below suggestions and things we appreciate all of it definitely and so make sure that you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow bye